In our video about configuration files, we briefly touched the topic of branding packages. Some comments asked, what are these packages and how can you get them? Well, this video will show you how, where and why. Branding packages allow you to apply small customization settings on your devices. You can make these packages in your MicroTik account and they are installed just like regular routerless packages. Upload and reboot. So, let's go to our account. This is my account and if you scroll down here, you'll see on the other section, you'll see Branding Maker. So if you go to Branding Maker, first thing I suggest is read this first. This is a section that is collapsed. If you open it up, there is a small documentation instruction. It says uh, basic things um, that are actually quite important. If you, um, if you want everything to work correctly, please read all this stuff here. Uh, but if you uh, continue scrolling, you'll see this is a form where you can uh, fill some uh, some things that I'll tell you about. Um, router name. This is uh, the identity name, basically. When you log into your uh, SSH, it shows up in the command line. Uh, then we have uh, a URL and a manual uh, URL. So this is also for console. It shows up when you log into a Mikrotik device. Uh, the, the line that first uh, shows up when you first log in. There is also a documentation link which is opened uh, through Webfig. If you open the web interface, um, uh, there is a button called uh, documentation. If you click on that, uh, it will open the link that you provide here. This is useful if you are making a translated interface for some uh, users and you want them to use your own branded documentation. Maybe you would like your own logo there or maybe you want some country specific uh, information. Uh, maybe you're just making a shorter version of, about the things that uh, you want your customers to use. Um, which brings us to the next uh, interesting thing, uh, the uh, files here. One of the files uh, that you can upload is a skin file. Uh, the skin file allows you to uh, limit the number of options available to the uh, router user. So, for example, if you're a telecommunications operator or some kind of ISP, and you're giving uh, routers to your users, but maybe you don't want them to access uh, stuff that they don't really need. Um, and, but you do want to give them uh, access to some basic Wi-Fi settings, for example. Well, you can actually hide stuff from the um, graphical user interface from Webfig and in, uh, also in Winbox. And that's called a skin. So you can upload the skin here. I'll make a separate video about skins. So you, you select the category skins and then you upload the skin file. So this is why I mentioned that you can actually upload um, a skin, limit the number of things available, create your own documentation for these people and uh, provide the links here. And uh, there you, you also have the uh, command line logo, which is uh, by standard when you log into a Mikrotik device, it just says uh, Mikrotik in huge letters. Well, you can um, put your own art here if you would like or anything. You can actually check mark this um, to hide the name Mikrotik from SNMP outputs if you don't want uh, people to scan your uh, router system and P information and find out what brand is there. Um, and of course you can upload um, a different web interface uh, page, um, HTML file, you can create your own. This is basically the file that is uh, that shows up when you go to um, the router's default IP address uh, and this is the page, you can customize it. So you can provide other, other um, information, change the text, uh, change all the colors, provide your own uh, logo, etc. As the information here explains, the file has, uh, has to be called index2.html. Um, this is why I said that you must read this information here. There are some important uh, tips and uh, recommendations. There is also a standard uh, logo image uh, that the file has to be called a certain way. What you can also do is upload your own hotspot uh, files. Of course, you can uh, simply upload your own hotspot files to the router directly. But if you are pre-installing a large number of devices, you can actually create um, a standard set of stuff, um, of configuration, uh, and uh, 
create a branding package, and then everything will be installed at once, including your custom uh, look, your links, your Telnet logo, your identity name, uh, your skin, your hotspot uh, stuff. Even if your device has an LCD like the 2011s, you can upload a BMP file with that logo and uh, even put some custom files in the router. And well, of course, the, the biggest thing possibly is uh, the configuration file. You can actually upload see our previous video about configuration files, you can actually upload the configuration file to the router as well. So if you install the branding package, the configuration file will be applied and it will become the default configuration. So if the user resets the device with the button, uh, it will return not to factory standards, uh, to factory configuration, but to this configuration that you applied. And to completely remove all configuration, you would have to do a reinstall, which for normal uh, users is more difficult, I guess. They can find the reset button on the device, but um, to learn using net install, they would have to dig deeper somewhere. So uh, provide all these files, upload anything you like, uh, change the login page and the logo. If you use hotspot, you can put your own hotspot skins and even custom files that for whatever you reason, maybe your web page needs uh, some different stuff like a video, you can upload it as well. And uh, then scroll down, click on the make button. It will ask you for which versions you need, probably you need for the, for the newer versions. And once the package uh, is made, you can download it, upload to your router and reboot for installation. That's it. So. Uh, hope you find this useful. Have fun customizing your device. Thanks for watching.